Hey everybody, wanted to share some quick information in regards to radon and radon testing and specifically how we treat this in our local sales contract and in our local transactions. So very quickly, uh, if you're not familiar with, radon is a colorless, odorless gas and it forms deep, deep down beneath us in the earth where there are deposits of uranium. And one of the naturally occurring byproducts of the uranium uh, decaying is that it puts off radon. Now, radon will seep its way up through the soils and it'll dissipate out into the atmosphere. And I, as I tell people when we talk about it, hey, we're breathing radon right now. We're inside this building, we're inside your home, we're outside. You know, it's out there. It's just that it's not built up or at such a high concentration as to be a health issue. So now you go and you, instead of having it dissipate out, you know, through the soils and up into the atmosphere, you go and you put a home on top of the area where the radon was trying to seep up and escape. And not only that, but, you know, these days you put a very high efficiency, energy efficient home, one that doesn't like to have air moving in and out, you know, at, the, at a great pace. So now you've gone and, and effectively given a, a ability for radon to build up. And so A, if radon is getting into a home and B, if it is allowed to build up over a period of time and long exposure, it could be a health risk. And the EPA has put out a great amount of information in regards to that. So in a real estate transaction, there is a separate, and we're talking about, again, about a resale uh, situation, not uh, buying from a home builder, a new home. But in our resale sales contract here in Northern Virginia, we have the option, the ability for a buyer to request a radon test. It's usually done parallel to their home inspection, their general home inspection. And so costs about 125 to 150, maybe $175 to have the test. There are a couple of different methods to test, but generally speaking, either canisters are left in the basement of the home, uh, and then those are retrieved after a couple of days, or a little more high-tech equipment is left, almost looks like a little mini Geiger counter. And again, that's to verify if it exists and at what level. So at the end of a radon test, again, this approximate two-day period of time, we're given the results. And if the reading, which is shown as a number, if the reading is at a 4.0 or higher, then that is considered actionable by the EPA. They believe that that's a, a high enough level, not urgent, but a high enough level that they would then recommend their benchmark is that you have that remediated. You have a system put in that would draw that air from under the home uh, where the radon was finding its way up through the soils and give it a different exit, give it sort of a pipe and a fan and you, you kind of push it out. And, and, and again, then it dissipates in the atmosphere. And as I said, we're breathing right on right now, just not in any high concentration. So in our sales contract, again, you can ask for that test and you can give the seller a copy of a high test, a 4.0 or higher. And then the seller doesn't necessarily have to fix that but we find in most cases they do because not knowing your house has radon and knowing your house has radon are two different things. And if you do know that your house has radon as evidenced by a recent you know, professional test, it's a little hard to get away from that. Most brokerages, ours included, believe you now have a disclosure issue that you really have to tell any future buyer. So why not just figure this out and resolve it with your current buyer? So if the buyer has asked for remedy or remediation, then that again, uh, cost would average around about $1,000 uh, to have a, a proper system installed. Uh, again, it is an option. It's not something that every buyer asks for, and it is not something that every seller necessarily is going to feel that they are compelled to do something, although we find the majority of them are. Uh, if you don't have a radon test, we recommend it for all of our buyers, but for various reasons, you may not ask for one. And if you don't in the sales contract, then we highly recommend that once you move into the home, there are home test kits that you can order and you can set out and you know follow the protocols of keeping the windows shut and only entering and you know exiting the house as you would normally, not leaving doors open have a proper test. 
You can do that outside of the real estate transaction and then send those off to the laboratory and they'll tell you whether or not you have a potential high reading and whether or not you choose then to mitigate, which of course would be outside of the sales contract as the new owner. If you have any further questions on this, I would actually recommend that you go to the EPA's website uh, for more information on radon specifically. But if we can answer questions for you again, how we treat that in our local sales contract or sort of our own experience with that, we're happy to do so. 703-803-3893. Again, you can look us up on the web at www.theartofrealestateteam.com, theartofrealestateteam.com. We appreciate your time. I hope this was helpful. Thanks. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel for future real estate related videos and information. And if you've got a real estate question you'd like us to handle, go to www.theartofrealestateteam.com, resources, and scroll down to Just Ask Art where you can submit your question and who knows, perhaps it'll be the topic of our next video. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.